Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Halleck. Lake Champlain has always played a significant role in the making of our nations. It was a pathway used twice by British forces sailing down the lake looking to invade and conquer the young American colonies. But before those historic battles, the lake and Richelieu River were used for a much lesser known invasion north into Canada. Historian Albert Lebeau is showing a new map that he says corrects a centuries-old mistake and reveals the true location of the Battle of La Prairie. That battle in 1691 is believed to have been the first on a Canadian battlefield that stopped an invasion by Major Peter Schuyler and his New York militia on Montreal. LeBeau says the map shows the historically accurate route taken by Schuyler and his troops. By uh, using geopositioning technology, taking an old map, which is actually a military map, uh, quite precise from 1763, we have uh, superimposed on a modern top topographical map and they both come across this river, which is important at the exact location, which is the area where we believe the uh, battle occurred. The map was unveiled this past week to a small crowd of historians and enthusiasts who gathered at the Historical Society in La Prairie, offering a clearer picture of what LeBeau calls one of the most significant French-Canadian archaeological and historical discoveries in recent history. Indeed, this uh, map's uh, purpose basically is to uh, create interest and be a guide for uh, the uh, archaeologists here in Canada and, and, and some from New York, actually, who have shown an enormous interest in uh, finding uh, what occurred at this battle site. There's a lot of conflicting uh, information, but I think this will be, once that is done, well, we will have answers. Schuyler led 400 militiamen and Iroquois up the Richelieu River to just south of Montreal where they clashed with about 800 French soldiers, first at La Prairie and then in hand-to-hand -hand combat with more French troops as they retreated to Chambly and the Richelieu. Had the uh, French lost this battle, uh, chances are that we'd all be uh, Americans today. <laughs> so it was of that importance uh, because uh, they would have taken Montreal, uh, the uh, area around, and that was maybe uh, half the population of New France that you're looking at. And there's only 12,000 in the whole uh, colony. So, I mean, a major victory here would have brought on uh, a, a naval uh, expedition to uh, Quebec City, as they had done the year before, but with much greater chances of success. And uh, as I said, probably uh, you would have had a North America, which would have been uh, all uh, basically <laughs> British colonies. So we would have all been saying, uh, I love New York. <laughs> Historians have traditionally believed the site of the battle was at what is now this intersection. But LeBeau says his research and the map show the battle actually took place several kilometers away. Now that we believe we have identified the exact place where it occurred, the, uh, the Canadian government, through their different agencies, like Parks Canada uh, and the Canadian Battlefield uh, Commission, will be able to look into this uh, site and uh, do some major archaeological uh, search. Because it is the very first battlefield in probably in maybe North America for that, for that matter. It concerns both people on both sides of the border. <laughs> Schuyler's defeat at the hands of the French allowed the colonists to preserve Montreal and Quebec's French-Canadian history and culture for more than 300 years.